Well, look who it is. It's Sam Fisher, back from sabbatical for a new Splinter Cell game. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. Oh. Awkward. Good work. Shut up. Dead may be an exaggeration, but Splinter Cell Conviction is definitely not the Splinter Cell you remember. This is a fully revamped, fast-paced reinvention of the franchise, and the results are surprisingly positive. The death of his daughter has caused Sam to leave Third Echelon for a simpler life of hanging out at street cafes. But he's pulled back into the spy game by an old comrade, whom he promptly slaps around. To deal with his legions of foes, Sam has become faster and far more agile than before. He can practically run along the sides of buildings, and the new Mark and Execute system lets you designate multiple targets and eliminate them perfectly with the press of a button. As you may have guessed, this makes things a bit too easy at times. You do have to recharge the Execute power with a hand-to-hand -hand kill after using it, but sometimes we find ourselves not using Mark and Execute simply because it feels a bit like cheating. I don't get the gun. You get a lot of guns, actually. Conviction seems to think it's much more of an action shooter than a stealth game at times, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. The streamlined control scheme works beautifully, and moving Sam around feels more intuitive than any of the previous Splinter Cells. You might be tempted to run and gun a bit more than you should, but the game will quickly administer a humbling lesson. Purists will likely claim it's flat out not Splinter Cell. And they have a point. There's no lockpicking or hacking or moving bodies around or many of the other stables of the series, but you can still relentlessly torment hapless guards you think that's funny, ass and pull off some pretty badass moves. One alteration we don't like is the change to Sam's appearance. He used to be a huge guy in his 50s, but now he looks like Nathan Drake's slightly older brother. That could have gone smoother. But wait, there's more. There's one really cool thing I can show you. Two-player co-op makes its triumphant return with an awesome campaign that serves as a prequel to the solo story. Agents Archer and Kestrel provide a counterpoint to the version of events presented in Sam's campaign, and it features a brilliant twist at the end. Splinter Cell needed a makeover, and Conviction delivers. It's rough around the edges in some of the finer details, but if this is the direction Ubisoft intends to take the series, we can't wait to see what Sam does next. Four silent headshots. Out of five.